Now that we have all the stones and the concrete out from these stairs, uh, those of you that watch my channel a lot, uh, hopefully you saw that video, the first one that I posted where we removed the, the uh, concrete steps and the stone that were here, and we are replacing them with some uh, pretty nice wooden steps. I found the problem with concrete, uh, concrete in general, and just uh, the you have the weight of it, and concrete seems to always crack. So the weight of it will make it sink into the ground, which is not something that you want for steps because each step, well, the first step onto it would be different than all the rest of them. So. We're just trying to really improve the steps here, and I think the best way to do that is with wooden steps, so we're kind of getting things lined up and figure out slope and rise over run and all that stuff. We had the choice of three or four steps. Three steps would have been about a seven, seven and a half inch, if I remember correctly, for what my brother said, rise, and then we would have had a about a 15 inch run. So the tread that your foot would step on is 15 inches wide, and that is way too big. You know, it really only needs to be about a foot, about a foot in depth and we made these ones a foot these are all the wood that we used was ground contact uh, pressure treated lumber and hopefully these stairs will be here for a very very long time and we all and we use these were two by twelves if I remember correctly, which they're actually not 2 by 12, they're like inch and a half by 11 and a half or something, something along those lines, inch and three quarters. So they're pretty stout and pretty thick lumber or boards, and um, I think that these stairs will be here for a, a very, very long time. So now that we have, and by we, I mean mainly my brother, he's the one that has uh, done stairs before and I'm just kind of helping him out uh, doing these things the these boards were actually incredibly heavy I was quite surprised at how heavy these boards are uh, these steps are about 54 inches wide and about probably 40 some inches long so we ended up just buying eight foot uh, two by twelves by eight feet long and that's just kind of the the way the lumber worked out we did kind of have quite a bit of waste which I I'm not a big fan of but you know what else can you do with it so we're cutting out these treads and just using a worm drive circular saw and the reciprocating saw and everything seems to be going quite well. We had two of those to cut, obviously one for each side. And then once we got those in, we had to do a little bit more digging, if I remember correctly, for the uh, backer board on the very first step right off the concrete. So we did, had to do a little bit of digging there, and we set the post the previous night that's why the first clip was uh, kind of dark that's because we were doing that at night and it's just one of those things we wanted to have the post already set up and level or, or not level plumb so that you know it's less likely to move on us uh, the next day now we did not actually mix the uh, concrete uh, we just kind of layered the concrete and the water together 
and put in more concrete than water obviously but it's kind of like a, a dry packed my post and we used actually used two 80 pound bags of concrete and that seemed to work quite well we dug the hole three feet all of these other posts are they're only about two two and a half feet deep so uh, they wiggle slightly but once you put everything together they will uh, be a lot stronger than when you tie everything together so we're just uh, building these stairs and my brother was pretty much running the whole the impact and stuff uh, I was just kind of grabbing getting tools and stuff for him whatever he needs and this these stairs are the the runners here on the left and the right side those were by far the most difficult pieces to put uh, to, to make and to put up pretty much everything after that once you got the boards and stuff on and the runners and the treads and after those side pieces everything went a lot easier and a lot faster we really got things done quite quickly and we did have to rip the runners if I remember correctly this was the the boards that are on the back and it's really nice having some uh, portable tools the we have a DeWalt miter saw which has come in very very handy and it has a nice stand and everything on it so we kinda lucked out there with that and using that and we also have a rigid table saw and it's a portable one for a job site use I think it's a job site saw and that one is very handy for doing stuff like this uh, my brother has a cabinet saw in the shop and to lug that thing around would be pretty much impossible I mean you could do it but who would want to do that I'd rather just use the little portable one that rigid one that works just fine and will do the same thing probably not quite as good but you won't get quite as accurate of a cut but as a cabinet saw or something but it's portables and that's exactly what we need now that we have those runners on we are probably going to be cutting the boards for the stair tread you know the spot that you put your foot and the middle two here are exactly the same and unfortunately we had to notch out these bottom ones uh, my mom had suggested that we put that we widen out the stairs past uh, a little bit past the posts which is what we did and that works fine and and whatnot and I've got to say it was it wasn't hard it wasn't difficult building these stairs it was kind of time consuming but I'm really glad we did this and my brother is notching out for the posts at the moment and I am being the clamp holding stuff down and in this instance a jigsaw worked better than a reciprocating saw I think it was a, a more accurate cut it definitely wasn't as aggressive so you could kind of go a little slower and just kind of try to get the cut correct and fortunately we got uh, pretty much all the cuts correct on this we didn't have to make another trip out to Home Depot to buy another board that we cut too short so we we just lucked out there but I brought the uh, Jeep trailer over with the miter saw and the table saw here on the left hand side of the screen uh, that's a lot easier than loading it in both of them into my brother's truck because that's three steps one two yeah three steps up and in and this one here with the trailer we can just put it right into the trailer right from the ground now another thing that we had to do was 
We noticed when someone walked on these steps, the backs were not uh, held in by anything, and what we did was uh, my brother put in some screws and a shim in the back of the stairs, the middle of the back of the tread, and that seems to hold the back of the stair tread uh, more than just the board itself, but these stairs are way overbuilt and way stronger probably than what they need to be. But we wanted them like that and it's pretty nice. You know, almost two people could uh, walk on d up and down these stairs at the same time with uh, side by side, you know, they're that wide. And I'm amazed at how many screws we used on this thing. You know, between, I think we put in like six for each post, six, 12, 24, and then probably another, probably eight at least on the treads. Actually, more than that. Eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Probably ten, maybe ten on each tread. But like I said, we're trying to build these stairs to last, and we are really not cutting any corners. You know, there's certain things that I feel you can cut corners with. You know, sometimes with like a tool that you don't use a ton, you can kind of buy the cheaper one to get you by. And who knows, that cheap one might last you 10, 20, 30 years. Uh, you never really know. And a, uh, a more expensive tool... A, a cheaper one will do the same job that an expensive one will, so it's uh, just kind of one of those things. But for stuff like this, doing stairs like this, it took us about two days to do this uh, off and on. The, the second day was the main day to really get stuff done, but the first day whenever we were ripping stuff out, there was... I was kind of seeing how... Uh, it's, it doesn't really pay to do poor work with uh, when you're doing stuff like this because, you know, you're going to be looking at this for the next, I don't know, 20, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 years. Uh, hopefully these things would last that long, but, you know, you're going to be looking at it for a long time, so try to do a good job and make it look nice and even. And Now, within reason, you know, we could have pulled these posts out and spent at least another day on this, uh, putting in all all three new posts and uh, really lining them all up. But that was that was kind of that was more than what we wanted to do. So now my brother had uh, scraped out the driveway behind this, and we're gonna put that gravel back and kind of fill in these holes and whatnot and kind of even things out, but. These stairs sure looked, they sure looked pretty good now, and I'm, I'm really glad we did this. This is a huge improvement from those old concrete ones that had sunk a couple inches and were all uneven, and I think the stone on top even wiggled. It was loose. And it's just, uh, this is just a thousand percent better. Uh, now, I'm not really sure, you know, what the weight rating would be of this thing, but it'd be an awful lot. You, know, you could probably have six people stand on this, and you wouldn't have any problems. So now we are working on the railing, and this, the railing, this part was kind of difficult also. Uh, those runners were difficult, and the railing was difficult. But other than those two main things... Uh, the rest of this was pretty easy. It, you know, it wasn't... The rest of this wasn't difficult at all. As that old saying goes, uh, measure twice and cut once. Now, we were fortunate to... We could use some of the old lumber that was here. And we kind of lucked out there a time or two. And we also bought uh, two 10-foot pressure-treated 2 before 
for the other side of this railing. I know everything doesn't exactly match because you know you have pressure treated and white, uh, white paint and stuff. But probably come next, I don't know, next spring or summer or something, we'll get around to at least painting that one post as well as the railing that we're going to be putting up that is pressure treated. I'm not entirely sure exactly what they say for well what the time period is with new pressure treated lumber to when you can paint it. I Is it like I don't know why three years is coming to my mind but they say you're supposed to wait and I mean, I guess we'll wait, but I don't really know. So we're just doing a lot of measuring and trying to figure out a good height for the railing here and trying to make it even. That's really what we wanted to do, is to make this as even as we possibly could. You're tr we're trying to make things uniform. Oh, and that's another thing. These... These stairs do not match up with the, there's a side door here to this house and these stairs are about a, about six inches off. They need to be shifted to the right as you're looking at them right now. They need to be, the whole, all four posts need to be shifted to the right about six inches. I guess whenever they, they built this house, uh, they didn't believe in really matching or lining up stuff, you know, uh, an inch is as good as a mile, as they say. You know, if it's an inch off, that's good enough, or six inches off, yep, that's good too, but uh, my dad said when he bought this place that the these steps were here, and uh, these steps are at least, the old ones were at least 40 years old, and I was really surprised to hear that. So in 40 years, the concrete steps had sunk. And that's kind of why we don't want... We didn't want to put concrete steps back in here again. Because they're, we're just going to kind of have the same problem again eventually. And not that you won't with the wooden steps. But it's they're a lot lighter. And they're putting a lot less pressure on the ground. Now, granite concrete is spread out, and these are with four pressure points on the post, but they're also deeper into the ground, too, so maybe that has something to do with it also. But like I said, putting up the railing here, this was by far uh, one of the most difficult parts. Uh, getting the angles right, and figuring out where to mount it, and trying to make it even, and uh, the list kind of goes on and on and on and on. For the railings on this and I know there's probably a calculator or something out there I similar to the uh, whenever I poured that concrete pad for the propane tank for you know how much concrete you needed how many 80 pounds bags you needed the weight and the rebar calculator also there's probably a railing and a stair calculator but we just didn't use those so it probably would have been a lot easier if we did. Uh, looking back on this, I wish I would have at least looked it up to see if there was some sort of calculator out there that we could have used to uh, speed up this job and make it a lot easier. So I have pretty much... I finished uh, grading the gravel back into the stairs here, and I actually didn't film any of that. I just use the 8N and the box blade and I will tell you what that machine with that box blade is a pretty good combination for grading gravel and dirt and stuff like that. It really worked quite well and in I don't know maybe 15 minutes I had the driveway graded out and I pushed all the gravel back up against the steps on the on the, the very top one. And now we're just putting on the, these are like, uh, they're grippy mats that you can put down. And they work really well. Uh, they're non-slip and uh, they're just rubber. 
and we ended up screwing them down instead of gluing them like they said. We used uh, screws with uh, washers, so you know we are likely we are less likely to tear them, and they seem to work pretty good. And I, no one slipped on them yet, so uh, we're pretty happy with them so far. We used stainless steel screws and stainless steel washers to put these mats down. I foresee, you know, when these steps do get icy with snow accumulation and ice accumulation, I foresee that hardware rusting, but being that we got stainless, hopefully it wouldn't uh, rust at all and then you'd have bleaching and stuff in the wood. Stairs are pretty much finished. All we have to do is fill in around in here and fill in a little here and same thing on the other side but I will tell you what these stairs turned out really nice I really like the way these looked we put in the new post I know a lot of this stuff is doesn't exactly match which is all right but we put two runners on the each side and then another board on the top so everything looks everything looks pretty good I'm very pleased how this turned out and everything is very sturdy and it's very easy to go up and down these steps and I think this will work out real good so I'm really glad we took out those old the old concrete steps the first step was like three or four inches and then the next one was like seven and then the one after that was like nine so all the steps were a different height and these ones here all of these they should be exactly the same pretty much exactly how they should be so we also added on some rubber this was in the they were in the carpet section of Home Depot I don't I forget exactly what they're called but they look pretty good and we've got them screwed down I wanted to screw them down instead of putting like liquid nails or something in there just for the simple fact that if we ever wanted to take these up we can you know they're easily removable and the screws and stuff will should hold just fine in the cold temperatures and whatnot so we had to do a little bit of trimming and stuff on these posts to make things even and level as you can see both sides this post is further out than this one is so we had to notch it and I don't really like that but that's just the way these were put in and then same thing we had to notch this one here notch that one and then that one's out on the edge so these two posts are further in than these two posts are and we did not want to we didn't want to have to take out three of these posts all to make that perfect so it, it would have been a lot of work to do that I mean we could have done it but it would have been probably another day's worth of work doing that. Hope everyone enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more. And hopefully we will see you all in the next one. Thanks for watching.